The Auburn Tigers ended the tournament red hot with designs on making a run. Yale and James Jones had other ideas. Uh, he's kind enough to join me after Yale pulls off the victory. And James, in the past 15 years, and really throughout the tournament's history, but really in the last 15 years, the Ivies demonstrated that there are a handful of teams capable of winning games in the tournament, and you're one of them. At what point in the comeback today against Auburn did you really entertain thoughts, we're going to win this basketball game? Well, I, I always stay positive. You know, the glass isn't half full for me. It's overflowing. So I always I felt good about the game the entire time, believe it or not. And it just felt like we were going to find a way to get it done and win it. And fortunately for us, we did. How much, James, is that belief buoyed by what happened in that Brown game? I'll admit, I was away skiing with my family. And we're taking a lunch break. And I'm watching on my phone. And I'm trying to figure out, how is this happening? I, you know, I realize you've now won an NCAA tournament game since. But if you'll take me and the viewers back to how you're able to erase that deficit against Brown, I mean, I, I wonder how you explain it. Well, we were down by six with 27 seconds ago. <laughs> right. We came down, we banged a three. Uh, we got fouled and made two free throws, and guys down one, and then we fouled again. They missed two free throws. So it was six seconds ago. No, 10 seconds ago, we brought it up. They fouled us on purpose, took the ball outside OB, and, um, you know, the rest is history. Our guys were really calm, cool, and collected, and they made all the right plays, which, which is amazing for me is that I was out of timeouts, just like I was today. So I had to depend on my guys to make the right play and do what we do in practice. It looked like Brown was one of those teams of destiny, right? They, they beat a very good Princeton team, and it looked like they might have you knocked off. But then when you win a game like that, I don't want to use the term house money because that's, that's disrespectful to a team that's as capable as you are. But I just, I just wonder how, how you almost view that berth because it was just so unlikely seemingly with, with a, you know, half a minute to go. Yeah, it's just one of those – crazy things that happens in college sports and that's what makes it great you know yeah. like there were people with tears in their eyes after the game hugging me trying to kiss me it, it was you know quite amazing <laughs> what the emotions of what something like that does to you we had some heartbreakers this this year we had a game that we lost at vermont that it was we feel that was taken away from us you know karma comes back to you sometimes and fortunately for us it did in that game we have a segment coach called bad beats that that actually made it on there because I was pretty unlikely that that happened the way it did but let's let's move back to the present I love a lefty and John Poulakitis he plays with a fearlessness and a confidence that I love is that it, he picked a great day to have a great day is that typical of the young man that you're from that you're familiar with is that who you see on a daily basis yeah John could get in his bag now and he got <laughs> in his bag tonight where he can go out and make some plays I mean yeah. He does that in practice. Like he, nobody does that every day, right? He has this unbelievable confidence, but his worth ethic is what it does. You know, if it wasn't going to be John, it was going to be another player today, and, and, and thankfully it was him. But we feel good about somebody else stepping up and playing well, and we don't feel like we played our best game. Gratefully, we won the game and really happy about that, and we get to move on, and I get to stay in uh, good old Spokane, Washington, at least another night. Love it. Let's close with this. It was Princeton a year ago that crashed the Sweet 16 party for Yale to do it through San Diego State. Uh, what's today? Friday on, on Sunday. What has to happen? Well, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you, Scott. I haven't watched three seconds of uh, San Diego State yet. I got to digest some film and, and figure that out. But what has to happen is we have to stay together for us and play Yale basketball. We want to defend, we want to rebound, and we want to share the ball. You know, there are no tricks. We just get out there and we just play basketball. And uh, I give all the credit to my guys and the hard work they put in. Well, this is the turnaround that is where the real, real uh, great separate themselves from winning the game until the next game. I'll stop talking to you so you can go get into that film and, uh, and see what you got to do to get a victory. You're no secret, you nor your team. Anybody that loves this sport, and our show certainly does, knows all about James Jones and Yale. It's a treat to watch you guys win today. Congrats and enjoy it, all right? I appreciate you. You have no idea. Thanks so much for having us on.